Hello students, in this lecture we are going to study the parasitic nematode Nicator americanus. Commonly it is called as the new word or American hookworm. So these hookworms are found in the southern United States and it is mainly lives in the small intestine of humans. Humans are their only host. They hold the intestinal wall of humans with their teeth and they feed on their blood and their tissue floods found in the intestine. Females may produce as many as 10,000 eggs daily. Now I am going to draw the male and female parasitic hookworm and this is the male hookworm structure and this is the female hookworm structure. Now this is the adult male hookworm and this is the adult female hookworm. Adult males are smaller than the females and females are larger. Their size is from 5 to 9 mm long and the female's size is 9 to 11 mm long. Now I am going to draw the life cycle of hookworm and this is the female hookworm. And this is the adult male hookworm. Male and female hookworms uh, mate with each other and the female produce a large number of eggs. And these are the eggs produced by the female hookworm. Then these eggs are passed out from the human body with their feces and migrate to the external environment. Now the eggs are found within the feces in the external environment. These eggs hatches and they release small sized larva. This larva is called as rhabditiform larva. The, this uh, rhabditiform larva is the second stage larva of the hookworms and this rhabditiform larva molds and uh, it develops into another larval stage that is called as the flariform larva and uh, flariform larva is the third larval stage of hookworms and it is the infective stage of larva this uh, infective larva will cause infections in the humans all these stages were occurring in the external environment now this flariform larva is ready to enter into the human's body through their skin Larva penetrates into the skin and this hookworm infection is mainly acquired by walking barefoot on contaminated soil. After penetration, this larva looks like this in your skin. Then it moves through your blood vessels to your heart and then to your lungs. Now in the next step, larva enters into the blood through the circulatory system. Blood carries these larvas and transfer it to the heart. In the heart, we can see that there are two superior veins in the hearts that collect the blood from the whole body. One of them is inferior vena cava that collects the blood from the lower half of the body. Blood enters into the right atrium and then through the pulmonary artery, it will transfer into the lungs. Now the blood reaches into the lungs and these larvae present in the blood will move up to the trachea and from trachea they will move uh, into the pharynx and from pharynx uh, these larvae are swallowed again into the small intestine. They pass from esophagus to the stomach and then they reach the small intestine. Then they move into the large intestine and in the large intestine the larvae develops into an adult and then they uh, also become sexually mature. In the large intestine male and female hookworms mate with each other and they produce a large number of eggs and then these eggs will again pass out from the human body through their feces. Now these eggs are ready to infect another host. These stages are occurring in the external environment and then the flariform larva that is the infective larva will enter into the human's body and 
it will complete their whole life cycle only in one host and their host is the humans so they complete their life cycle in the human body